Parker. First, you get this uh, this booklet. Uh, tells you everything about your panels, all the accessories, uh, the different settings of the uh, charge controller, and it's on a really nice uh, paper. So that there is a charge controller. This is um, it's kind of interesting. It's sort of plug and play setup. Uh, you have some USB ports here. This right here is where your solar input goes but you can also add solar down here that's your battery terminal import that goes to the battery and that's a load and then you have three DC loads here it also came with a uh, hardware uh, metal hardware if you want to link all the panels together I probably am not going to use this but it does come with it uh, it comes with a cable this will hook into the charge controller and then these go to your battery. It's a spider cable. It's a big cable. And what it is is it's, this plugs into uh, the thing that goes to your uh, charge controller. And then on the opposite side it has four leads. So these are the four leads that go into the four panels. So if you're going to use all four panels it has this, uh, and it's a huge cable, it's huge. That plugs in, that, that would plug into this if you want to use the connection on that Pacific charge controller. So this particular cable would go into this socket on that charge controller, but if you use a different charge controller, you're going to need a different cable to go into the outlets, the thing, or a different cable. So if you want to plug this set up into a different charge controller and you needed those two wires kind of like this these two separate wires they did not include those in the kit which uh, I find very unfortunate because I do want to use a different charge controller down the road so uh, either you're gonna have to do uh, some snipping of the wires or purchase uh, that wire separately they do have and then finally it came with uh, two LED lights, sockets basically. They're light sockets, but they also came with bulbs. So they have these huge cords. Comes with LED lights, but you can take the lights out and put other lights in these sockets. And these work basically with the uh, that charge controller that came with it. I thought um, I heard people say it's kind of cheap or cheesy or stuff. I heard a lot of different stuff, and I got to tell you, so far the quality of these panels and the solar power system. It's top notch. So I'm out with the solar panels, and right there is the charge controller. So it's charging a battery. Sure, battery sure. About underneath the chair here is my battery box, my Minn Kota power center. And I just charge them through these alligator clips on the front posts. And as you can see, going through the cables. There are the panels over there. This is a no clouds in the sky, purely sunny day. All the other times that I've had them out and had them charging the battery uh, so far this year, it's been partly cloudy. And in partly cloudy conditions, it will uh, charge a battery at 50% discharge uh, relatively fast. Uh, it would basically be about two to four hours, depending on uh, what the state was. So they do a pretty good job. But yeah, that's the uh, Thunderbolt Magnum 100 watt solar kit. That's them right there, and they're the amphimorphous panels. 
they do work really good in cloudy conditions like I said I've used them a lot in cloudy conditions and they've done superbly so that's them up close I'll give you a look in the back what they look like to have stands and I don't have them perfectly level and if you actually look at the stands closely here uh, the stands are not fully down either they're really hard to get down uh, because I'm using them as a, a portable solution um, I just define this way like they have their own cords you will go to this junction cord here that's the junction cord comes here you can see spiders into four of them they all kind of lay there so all the cords from the panels go from about I would say about six feet maybe seven feet and then that junction cable goes over here and it's it's got a little leg on it it goes to here and it plugs into this charge controller up here now if you can use a different charge controller you what you would do is right here they sell a different cord a junction here and you can put it into the bottom terminals of either this charge controller or another party charge controller um, if I ever get some more of these panels and I would like to get some more in the future I definitely would invest in a better charge controller um, but right now I'm just charging like I said this one battery zoom out for you but yeah it's just a 70 amp 12 volt battery in the, within the Minkota power center and the reason I put it underneath this chair if I can just push it back so you guys can see it better the reason I put it underneath the chair here if I back off is I don't want to bump these alligator clips so I put it underneath the chair just in case uh, you know come close to it I don't want to bump those off uh, but they work really well and that's that's pretty much it um, there's different settings for different type of batteries I'm used my uh, deep cycle batteries is a uh, sealed battery from the settings so um, but yeah, you can charge uh, batteries that can go up to 14.4, the uh, more of the uh, watered ones. But yeah, this does quite a good job. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with this unit, and I've had it for uh, several months now, and it's done fantastic job. Uh, yeah, they're fantastic little uh, setup. I got the whole thing, the panels for $140. Uh, and like I said, they're amphimorphous panels which work really good on cloudy and overcast days. Today, luckily, we have full sunlight and they are uh, facing the southern hemisphere, but they don't need to because they are amphimorphous. Today. So this is uh, the battery box that I got. It's called the Minkota Trolling Motor Power Center. And so it's uh, not just a battery box for a 12 volt battery, but uh, it's also what they call a power center in the sense that it has uh, two onboard 12 volt uh, outlets on the sides and then in the front it has uh, both a positive and negative uh, pulse just like you would have access to if you had the battery there is a battery inside it is a 70 amp hour deep cycle battery 12 volt also on top of this we have um, built-in circuit breakers so 60 amp for the two posts and a 10 amp for the two 12 volt outlets um, I end up getting this uh, particular unit on sale for $40 I found it through Walmart I did get it uh, off season um, right now I'm the last time I went online to look at for these they're about 60 50 60 dollar range I got $40 range but like I said I got it uh, before uh, summer so it was cheaper uh, which is 70 amp hour battery on sale for $50 uh, right now it's a uh, peak uh, middle summer around August uh, that same battery now is going for over a hundred dollars so if you want to get a cheap battery or cheap battery box like the Minn Kota, uh you really have to kind of do it off season when it's not in boating because right now it's peak boating season, so those the battery and the battery box are definitely more money at this point. It also has a battery uh, level tester on this thing. Um, let's see if we can focus into that. So this here is the um, battery tester 
on here it says full, half, and recharged. You can see right now it's saying full. Um, I have tested the battery. It is full charged because I just charged it yesterday with the solar panels that I will show you later. Um, but yeah, this is the Makoto trolling motor power center. I've been using it for about five months. It's fantastic. Uh, it's basically a battery box on steroids is the way I like to basically say what it is. It's um, fantastic. It has a handle. Um, it has some extra things to make the strap because uh, I usually have to tighten the strap down every time I pick it up. And it's heavy because it is a 70 amp hour deep cycle battery in there. It's a, uh, but with this handle here, it makes it easier to carry than using these side handles. The side handles seem to like want to blow your back up, but this here makes it so much easier to pick up and carry. Now I do have an inverter for this unit that I bought for this unit. And uh, I can show you that also. <laughs> is the inverter I got for my power center slash solar uh, usage but you can also use it with a car or any other DC uh, plugged outlet this will also uh, you can also get adapter to go straight to battery terminals on it so this is called the best tech uh, it comes in a little box like that oops it's upside down best tech uh, this thing was rated in the top 10 for 2017 for this class, kind of under 500 watt type inverters. Uh, it's a 300 watt inverter. Um, and I believe it says in here, which is the documentation, it's just a little small little pamphlet here. It's a 300 rated 600 watt peak. The um, It has built in two USB uh, charging. They call it a smart IC technology which automatically detects your device to deliver its fastest charge up to 2.4 amps per port or a maximum of 4.2 amps. So the maximum is 4.2 amps. Um, it, has, it says it has a built-in uh, 40 amp fuse with an auto shutdown to keep, uh, so if you, if you go overload, it will automatically shut down. Um, it does have an indicator light, if that does happen, uh, which will turn red. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, it also includes a fan. The fan does not, I've used this already, the fan doesn't necessarily work all the time. It only works when the unit gets hot. So you can see here I have a cell phone. And as you can see, the cell phone is about the same size as or same footprint as the inverter so it's pretty small so you have an on off switch here now if this is on off but you have it plugged into a 12 volt outlet it will charge the USB devices so the USB devices this does not have to be on to power them you also get uh, two um, standard AC outlets with a ground protection and then over here are your two uh, USB and then there's the indicator light. So if it's green, everything's good. It's being powered. Uh, if it's red, that means uh, it tried, it tripped the uh, built-in fuse. And uh, all you have to do is click this on and off. But uh, if it tripped it, obviously you're not going to want to run that appliance or whatever is in there. Oh, and I'll also show you the, where the fan is. It's in the back. And it's uh, it's not a lot of power, but it works for a lot of things. Um, I have charged uh, computers. I've charged my uh, tablets, my phones, uh, my battery for my digital camera. Um, I've run a, quite a few things. You can run a TV off of this thing. You can run. So that's uh, it's called the Best Tech 300. Uh, they call it Sign Power Inverter, but it is a pure sign. And I'm just going to open up one of these uh, side ports here and just plug it right into the battery. And that's how easy that is working. Um, for USB, I have my uh, cell phone um, plug right here. I'll get my cell phone. My cell phone's mostly charged up, but I'm just going to plug it in for you so you guys can see. It says it is charging right here. Down here it says charging. Hopefully it focuses on that. 
And uh, so yeah, it's charging. And you don't, like I said, you don't have to turn on the inverter. It just draws straight from the inverter in USB mode. Um, so one of the other items that I like to charge when I'm out on location and not near any power outlet is um, this is a, a battery charger for the camera that's filming this now. I have only like three batteries and the batteries don't last very long and the batteries for this camera are very expensive, 50. So it's cheaper for me to not buy as many batteries for my camera and then recharge from like this 12 volt battery. So I'm gonna plug this in to this inverter running off of this battery. I'm going to plug it in there. And I have a battery that needs uh, to be recharged here. And for this unit to work, you have to actually turn it on. And you can see here, the green light is on. And here you can see um, this thing here saying it's charged. And it's charging right now off the 12 volt battery. And right now the fan is not working on the unit, meaning the unit's not hot enough. But yeah, so fantastic. And you can charge uh, your batteries. It takes probably about 40 minutes to charge from here. I can charge several different things off of this battery over the course of a day. I can charge tablets, phones, computers. These batteries, I can run other appliances off of this 170 amp hour battery and I pretty much still have more power to go. Um, it's pretty amazing how much power one of these things holds depending on what you're running.